Hey, how's it going? You look like you've been working hard and could do with a boost. Free energy drink on us. Oh, that's very nice of you. Uh, do you happen to have this other energy drink? I think it's uh, by some YouTubers or something. What was it called? No, 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 don't say its name. <laughs> well, why? What's... We want pride! We want pride! We want pride! Look what we you've done. Want we want pride! 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 It's the drink everyone's going nuts for. Prime. And it's safe to say it's been causing absolute mayhem. The fastest growing sports drink in history. We want pride! We you see, the faces of Prime are these guys, Logan Paul and KSI. They're some of the world's most successful YouTubers, and they've had quite the history, to put it one way. Which means teens and other young fans of the pair are deeming Prime a must-have. And despite the crazy amount of people getting behind their new thirst quencher, not everyone has boarded the hype train. But what's the problem? Well, it's because Prime Hydration, the sports drink version they've launched here in Australia, isn't the only version they make. This is Prime Energy. Currently, it can only be purchased in Australia through sites such as eBay and isn't available in stores. And there's a pretty good reason. Caffeine. Sound familiar? That's because it's the chemical found in coffee that gives people a hit of energy. It stimulates the nerves and makes us feel more alert. And it's a pretty common ingredient in energy drinks. But like anything, too much of it generally isn't a good thing. First of all, it can raise our body temperatures and make you feel uncomfortably hot. Um, it can make you feel dizzy and give you headaches and nausea. And it also sort of increases heart rate. You can even get palpitations if you have too much. Let me put it this way. Canned soft drink can have up to 38 milligrams of caffeine, while a can of energy drink this size can have up to 111 milligrams of caffeine. But Prime Energy's 355 milliliter can has 200 milligrams of caffeine. 200 in one serve is a lot. That's more than about three shots of espresso. That level of caffeine in one serve is not safe for children. Now, the government has some pretty strict rules on how much caffeine can actually be in one energy drink. Australia and New Zealand's Food Standards Department says that energy drinks are only allowed to have 320 milligrams of caffeine per litre. And if we run the numbers for a 355 milliliter can, Prime Energy contains almost double the legal limit and almost six times the amount that a soft drink has. So you can see why this has some people worried, especially because the hype surrounding it is so huge. Remember those legal limits I mentioned earlier? Yeah, they only apply to items on store shelves, and they can't stop people from buying energy drinks that exceed that limit online. Prime says on their website that their energy drink is not recommended for those under 18. Throughout the day, as we use energy, our bodies produce a chemical called adenosine, and that's a sleepy chemical. But what caffeine does is it blocks that sleepy chemical. Now that's a real issue for children because deep sleep is when the body repairs and when growth occurs. But for the moment, the demand for this one particular drink isn't going anywhere. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what chaos ensues. Oh, 